Good morning and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am your host, Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. For truly, truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for allowing us to come and spend some time in the Word with you, whether it is here via our television ministry or radio ministry, or if you have joined with us with Partners in Prayer. Uh, something that I normally don't do. We're going to really, really step out of the box this morning and, and, and become transparent. And I, I pray that it blesses your soul. It is blessing my soul. And it's something that we should all uh, become aware of. I had a dream last night and I rarely share a dream in an open form like this, but I believe that it will bless your soul and it will cause you to uh, get into a place where you need to be. In a dream, I was doing someone's hair. I am not a beautician. I am a publisher by trade. And I was instructing the individual on the process of, of curling the hair with hot curlers and saying that uh, rollers were unnecessary. But as I begin to get to section by section, uh, this individual went ahead of me and, and, and curled their hair with sponge curlers. And as I begin to get to the top of the head, I'm still working with the hot curler but they have added all of this additional stuff in their hair. And I begin to take the curlers out that they put in. But as I looked up, it, there was uh, something on the wall, a writing on the wall that was telling me that my next assignment had started and it needed my attention. I look at that on the spiritual side. Sometimes, sometimes we can stay too long on an assignment. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are being moved from that particular setting, but what it means is that in the spiritual realm, you need to grow from where you are. You've been at that base place too long. The grace that sustained you for that current job, you have outgrown. And it is time for you to grow and move forward. Sometimes we can stay too long. We need to get into a place where our time in his presence increases. The time in the word increases. Learning more and more to move when prompted by the Holy Spirit. It is a drawing that says, I need to get closer to God. And so this morning as I'm sitting here and and, and I'm, I'm, I'm meditating and I'm, I'm going over that dream and, and I'm saying within myself, what are we going to share and, and minister this morning? And he kept coming to me to share that dream. And I'm saying to myself, I, 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 I don't do that. There are one or two that I can share a dream, but for the most part, I write them down and I, and I, I just wait for God to continue to minister unto me. But I felt compelled to share that with you this morning. Sometimes we can be in a position too long and we've outgrown it and we've done what we were supposed to do for that position. And your next position is waiting. Your next assignment is waiting. Uh, the, the more that God wants to say to you, he wants to bring more uh, revelation to you. But we are, we're, we're still trying to cultivate the last assignment 
when the job has been complete. You've done what was required of you in the previous assignment. Your next assignment needs your attention. How do I know what the next assignment is? I need to get into my word more. I need to get into prayer more. I need to move when the Holy Spirit tells me to move. What sustained me, as I said before, in that last and, and, and this morning, it's all about transparency. What sustained me in my last, meaning that time that I spent in his presence, I need more. It needs to increase. Because there is more for God. There's more that he wants you to do. There's more word. There's more territory he wants you to cover. He wants to enlarge your territory. But enlarging of your territory means more time in the word, more time in his presence. And so I, I wanted to just go over and, and, and line it up with the word of God. And, and, and the more I sat here, that word that just kept ringing in my spirit, uh, you've stayed too long. Your next assignment is waiting. You fulfilled what you needed to do. And a lot of times, uh, because of the assignment that God has on our lives, we want to baby it and we want to watch over it and, and we want to go back and, and do all the corrections. But when your job is only to do a specific thing, do that specific thing and prepare for the next assignment. We've been talking about having the access, but waiting on the release to deliver. Once you have received that release to deliver, it's time to prepare for the next assignment. It really is. Where we are, the things that we that will come of uh, our assignments is, is where we are in Christ. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I, am I in his presence? Am I hearing his voice? Have I tarried on an assignment too long? Those are some very, very important questions that we all must ask ourselves if we expect to grow into the knowledge of God. I'm not saying that uh, God is, is, is telling you uh, to, to jump up and move because you have to be guided by the Holy Spirit. What I'm saying is, is there are certain assignments that we need to, we need to understand. It's growing in the knowledge of Christ is what I'm getting at. What he was telling me was, okay, uh, once again, the things that sustained you, your, your time in my presence, your time in study, that sustained you for that assignment. This new assignment is going to cause more. It's going to cause more sacrifice, more dying of this flesh, more being in his presence, more time in the word of God, uh, more, more, more of him and less of me. Less of me, more of him. I need more of him. There is so much more to him that uh, we, we haven't even touched the edge or the surface yet. But we have to get into a place a desire, a thirst to draw closer to him. And as I look at the two prophets Elijah and Elisha over in 1 Kings, the 19th chapter, beginning at the 19th verse, it says, So he departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowed with 12 yoke of oxen before him, and he with the 12, and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, let me pray thee 
kiss my father and my mother, and then I will come and follow thee. And he said unto him, go back again, for what have I done to thee? So the question becomes one within yourself. I've tarried too long. I've stayed in this spot, my God, too long. I've been here too long. God wants to call me closer to him, but I've stayed in this spot too long. I won't spend more time with my creator. I won't get into the word so that I can learn more about being a disciple for Jesus. I've stayed here too long. I've stayed here too long. My God, I've stayed here too long. I pray that you catch it in the spiritual realm, that place where you are in him, you've stayed there too long. It is time that you are elevated in the spiritual realm, that you draw closer to him. The only way that you can be drawn to him and closer is through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And so that urge to get into the word of God, that thought that comes to your mind that says, I need to spend some time in the word, that, 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 that tugging that says, pick up your word. I wanna encourage you to stop ignoring that. Stop allowing distractions to put you in a place that you'll say, I'll get to my word later. The time is now. Our phones, our phones are so, um, uh, they, the, the electronics, no matter where you are, if you can click in and look up social media, you can click in and look up the word of God. Uh, you have tablets. All of these devices. And so saying, uh, I don't have time to pick up the word of God because I don't have my tangible Bible with me. That is no longer an excuse. You have a phone. You know, we have our phones glued to us. When a scripture, when a word comes to your mind, you might not know the exact scripture, but if you put in the wording as the Holy Spirit gives it to you, that scripture will come up. It is time I, I, I feel it so strong in my spirit that you come from your stagnant place. Grow in the knowledge of Christ. Grow in the knowledge of Christ. Where you are can no longer sustain you. That five minute prayer, you need to increase it. Spend some time in the word of God. The word of God and, and, and our prayers are changing. I tell you, uh, the word of God has become our first fruit. It has become my first fruit. I pray over the word of God before I read it. I want the word of God to become chastisement to me correction for me, rebuke for me, reproving. Why? Because I am a teacher of the gospel. And in order for me to effectively be that teacher, I need to be reproved. I need to be corrected. I need to be chastened. I need to be rebuked because what I am giving has to be the word of God. It cannot be tainted with my opinions, my thoughts. I can't add to the word and I can't take away. And so I need the revelation of the word. I must step out of the way. This flesh must die daily. So that has become my prayer. And now when I pick up the word of God, guess what? I'm seeing the correction. I'm seeing the word of God now is, 
is a prayer and something that is being applied to my life. My God, I need this to apply to my life. I'm looking at this 1 Kings 19 and 19 through the 21st. Oh God, where have I stayed too long? Where within my spirit, in my time with you, in my time in the word of God, have I not grown? Have I not increased? Have I not drawn closer to you? I hear what you are saying unto me, and therefore I pass it on to you. You've stayed in that stagnant place too long. It is time for you to grow unto spiritual maturity in Christ Jesus. Put God first. Seek his kingdom. Seek the plans he has for your life. As you seek the kingdom of heaven, you will discover the plans he has for your life. Why? Because when you seek the kingdom, you'll understand that God has a purpose and a plan for this world. And then he will begin to show you where you fit in. You are a part of that purpose and that plan. And in order for your part to be fully fulfilled, you must grow under spiritual maturity. You must go from season to season, stage to stage. You are to grow unto spiritual maturity. Yes, you were once a babe and you can only take on so much. But now it's time to take on a little bit more. It's time to come out of your comfort zone. It's time to minister a little bit more in depth. Get to the root and come off of the surface. Deliverance is from the root. Deliverance is from the root. Not from plucking the leaves, but from the root. Knowledge of Christ begins at the foundation and then it grows. And so I just want to compel you today. I want to shake your very spirit. I pray that this takes a hold of you spiritually, that you cannot rest that you cannot become settled with where you are. I pray that you become so uncomfortable with your present state in him that you grow even more. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone. You've known the call he's had on your life far too long for you to continue to sit and baby it, you've stayed too long. You've stayed in the state of immaturity in your spiritual walk too long. It is time to grow up in Christ Jesus. You're no longer a baby. You're no longer an infant. You know what is required of you. It shouldn't always take a crank to get you into the presence of God. You've stayed too long. You've stayed too long. You've stayed too long. Come out of that place. Come out of that place. I call you forth through the anointing, through the power of God that flows through me. Only through God's anointing, only through the pulling of the Holy Spirit, I came by to tell you, my God, you've stayed too long. God has been coming to you through dreams and visions, through the word of God, 
through the gift of prophecy. He's sending his prophets and his prophetess to you. And he's showing you in the word of God and, and everything that you look at. You, you, it, I, I can tell you now that it, it's, it's almost like the, the walls are closing in on you. And the reason why it seems that the walls are closing in on you is because you've stayed in that place too long. Come up out of that place. Come up out of that place and get into your rightful place in Christ Jesus. You stay too long. The more I say that word, it, it turns within me. You've stayed too long. You've stayed too long. My God, you've stayed too long. Get into a place that you can hear what God is saying unto you. I pray that he opens your eyes spiritually. The things that come from your mouth. You have to speak those things that be not as though they were. I am no longer in this place where the walls are closing in on me. I am growing unto spiritual maturity in Christ Jesus. I'm not talking about tangible things. I'm not talking about material things. I'm talking about your spiritual maturity. We have to get away from, oh, only thing we want to talk about and hear about is something that is ting tingling unto the ears for materialistic things. But he said, if you seek me first, all those things shall be added unto you. And so I just want to compel you, take your eyes off of the tangible things and get into the things of Christ. Get into the knowledge of him. Grow into spiritual maturity. Those things shall be added unto you. They shall be added. He is, he, we, we have a God that shall not lie. His word shall not return unto him void. He's giving us instructions so that those things shall be added unto us. But we have gotten into a place that we want to seek the things rather than the creator. We want the things that he's created for us rather than him. And I came by to tell you I'm so sorry, but it just does not, it, it doesn't happen that way. Those things that you get and you seek that are tangible, they've actually lost value way before they fell into your hands. But growing in the knowledge of Christ, growing unto spiritual maturity, that right there is, 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 is securing you in the kingdom. Growing in the knowledge of him, being obedient, being faithful, doing the will of God. But I tell you, you've been there too long. You've been in that stagnant position too long. You've said, I don't know long enough. You've said, I don't know for the very last time. Why don't you know who you are in Christ? He told you. He told you in his word. He's reassured you time and time again. But you still say, I don't know who I am in Christ. Come from that stagnant place. Come, 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 come from that stagnant place. Grow in the knowledge of Christ. First Kings, the 19th chapter, beginning at the 19th verse. Here, Elijah was coming and he found Elisha. And he it says that he cast his mantle upon him and he left the oxen and, and ran after Elijah and said, let me pray, let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother and then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, go back again for what have I done to thee? And he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen and gave unto the people and they did eat 
Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. You have fulfilled that place where you are in Christ. You've learned what you needed to learn in that season. Now it is time to increase your knowledge of him. Come off the surface. There is so much to know. What is the depth? What is the length? What is the height? What is the weight? We can never measure. There's so much more. The more we learn, the more you will realize there is more to learn. The more you submit yourself, your members, when and when I mean by your members, I mean your body, mind, and soul, submit your heart, your thoughts. Everything that's in you must line up with the word of God. This is done daily. Daily, daily, daily. Every thought, every high imagination that comes to exalt itself against Christ, we cast down. We cast down. Daily. Throughout the day. <clears throat> we've stayed too long. You've been in that place too long. You've been in that place too long. You've complained about the same thing too long. When are you going to learn from it? When are you going to grasp the lesson connected to that complaint? Good question. Ask yourself that question. When are you going to gain the lesson that's connected to that complaint? I'm telling you, you've been there too long. Sacrifice some time. Get into his presence. Seek him early, early, early. I tell you, if you seek him early, instead of fitting him in your schedule, put him first. He, he requires the first fruit of everything that we have, not just our finances, but of our time, of our thoughts, of our conversations. First fruit. If you put him first in everything, by habit, when we wake up in the morning, we think about what we have to do. When we go to bed at night, we think about what we've done and what we yet have to do, what wasn't done. But I tell you, if you put him first, that as your body begins to stir within your thoughts, Lord, I thank you for another day. You've allowed me to come into this new day. Give him thanks at the top. He knows what we can handle throughout the day, what we can actually accomplish. Our job is to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in those things. Prioritizing is what I'm getting at. If you put him first, he'll begin to give you a balance and a roadmap of how to put the other things in. But we must put him first. You know how he put you first? He put you first when he allowed you to come into a new day. Yes. Yes. At midnight. When you yet have breath in your body. And the blood is yet flowing through your veins. He chose you to be into a new day. But yet we can't give him our first. We want to chop him and, and put him in here and there and fit him in and, and and make excuses. Oh, I didn't have time today. But no more. Today is your day. No more. No more. No more. No more. You've stayed too long. 
you stayed too long in that stagnant position. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to go to the next grade. We love you here at The Balance of Life. We'd love to stay connected with you. Our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Send us your prayer requests, your testimonials of how uh, just things are changing in your life for the better as you grow into the spiritual maturity of Christ. Have a blessed, blessed day. Stay tuned and we'll be back with you on Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Have a blessed afternoon.